guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will look at the longest strictly increasing or strictly decreasing sub array which is from lead code number 3105 let's now read the problem statement in this problem you are given an array of integer nums return the length of the longest sub array of nums which is either strictly decreasing or strictly increasing okay now let's say uh, your nums array is given if your nums array at least have a single item then definitely a single item is always strictly increasing it is always strictly decreasing as well like how you have a single item in an array and you will say it is the max element as well as the min element likewise you can say uh, on similar grounds now in order to uh, solve this problem what you can do is if you start from this one then find out the st longest uh, strictly increasing sub array starting with this one and you will be including this four you will not be able to include this three because it is decreasing now so longest increasing sub array starting with one is of length two again try uh, the longest increasing sub array starting from this three because you have already included this one and four so start with this three if you start from here it will you will find only of length one because the next value is equal right but length two is larger so you will not update it again you start from this three and you will find that it is again of length one and and this is also of length one because we are talking about strictly increasing now so out of all the available options the longest strictly increasing sub array is of length two now what we can do is we can do a second parse and we can try to find out the strictly decreasing sub array so starting with one find out the longest decreasing sub array so it will stop at this one itself because the four is actually a larger number so you can track the length again this is of length one if you start strictly decreasing sub array from four it will be of length two because the next three is actually equals to the previous three so two is larger so we will be updating it again you start from this three wherever you had stopped and from this three you will track a length two three comma two it is again of length two so no update will happen so out of all the available options you have longest strictly decreasing sub array of length two so out of these two length take the maximum and return and that will be the answer right so we are actually solving it in two parts and uh, in each of the parts it is taking order of n time complexity so you can say that the time complexity will be order of n plus order of n which will be order of n right now if you look at the constraint uh, then in this case the nums length is only 50 maximum and if you happen to write order of n then i mean it will be very very less time complexity definitely it is going to pass so let's now look at a single parse idea the single parse solution for this particular problem now what we will do is we will take the array and we will be starting from this index number zero and i will be taking longest uh, strictly increasing or decreasing sub array size to be one okay you can check it out all the sizes are one because if the nums array do not have anything the answer will be zero but in the constraint section it was mentioned that the nums array will at least have one item right so that's why we have taken one as a start point now i will be checking as long as we see a strictly increasing value i will keep on incrementing the strictly increasing value and if i see strictly decreasing value then i will be incrementing the strictly decreasing value so element by element we have to solve so we will be always starting with index number one because the first item we have already taken by default so now we will always be checking the nums at i this is the nums array so nums at i with nums at i minus one so if nums at i is greater than nums at i minus one this means it is strictly increasing and therefore you increase the size of strictly increasing array right the, the strictly increasing sub array and you know that 9 is actually greater than 1 so the size of strictly decreasing is not increasing and here it is breaking actually so we will be reassigning it to a new start point which is 1 now always keep track of the longest that you have found and the longest is length 2 now which is the maximum of already known longest and the strictly increasing and the strictly decreasing value right now we will be going to the next index and we will be checking nums i with nums i minus 1 is it increasing or decreasing it is strictly decreasing right because 7 is less than 9 so in this particular case your strictly increasing curve is getting a break it is breaking and if it is breaking then i will again restart my counting from index 2 so i will be reassigning it to 1 and uh, in case of strictly decreasing it is not breaking because 7 can be included after 9 so the length will be extended by 1 
now you keep a track of this longest so the longest will be the max of this longest one comma two so it will remain to be two now we will move to this one when i move here again you check can i increase the strictly increasing value you check the previous value it is a larger value right so it is not a strictly increasing value rather it is a strictly decreasing value so this will be reassigned to a value one which it already is right and for strictly decreasing value since it is decreasing i will increase the length by one and since now you have increased the length you just check out of these three values which one is maximum three is maximum so override the longest value again you go to the next value it is three now in this case if you check with the previous value it is increasing right so that is why the strictly increasing value will increase by one and since here you have bro broken right the, the sub array is broken so you have to restart uh, again the process of counting for strictly decreasing sub array so this will be assigned to one okay that means we are starting a new sub array at three for strictly decreasing right out of these three three one and two which one is maximum three is maximum so let it be there if you go to this two again check with the previous value it is saying decreasing right because previous value is larger so increasing value will be reset to one and the decreasing value will be added one with it so it will become two find out the longest between three two and one three is longest so don't do anything and then we go out of bound and we stop so this is the single part solution and we get the longest value to be three and three is the result okay it can be strictly increasing or strictly decreasing it does not matter the question was just asking about return the longest sub array which may be strictly increasing or strictly decreasing so the time complexity is order of n and a single pass solution and the space complexity is order of one because we are just taking three variables and this does not depend on the size of input okay let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code we are given the nums array and we are finding the size of the array and uh, we are just assuming the longest strictly increasing strictly decreasing all values to be one because the nums array at least has one item and one item by default is strictly increasing as well as strictly decreasing and we will be starting from index number one now whenever we see an item we check with the previous item if the previous item is smaller than the current item that means it is strictly increasing so increase the sub array size of a strictly increasing sub array otherwise if it is not strictly increasing if it is decreasing or equal value then in that case start counting a new sub array from that particular point and so uh, update the strictly increasing value to one for the same reason we will be increasing the strictly decreasing value if the previous item is larger otherwise we again restart counting with one and finally after having updated the strictly increasing strictly decreasing value the longest will always be storing the max of already known longest sub array comma strictly increasing sub array and the strictly decreasing sub array and uh, by the end when we are done with all the items then the longest will be storing the longest length of strictly increasing or strictly decreasing sub array so that is what we will be returning so this is the entire code and i hope you were able to understand it if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you